welcome to the Smart Fit. All right, so we've already made basic French toast. The French toast that you can make every single weekend for your family, for brunch, and well, it's simple, it's good. Remember, using brioche to cut your own thickly sliced bread versus using pre-sliced white bread, all right? Let's take that to another level. Next level. Today we're gonna to be substituting some of those ingredients that we used in the original recipe for some, well, fresher ingredients, sort of like freshly grated nutmeg instead of powdered nutmeg. We're gonna be using more cinnamon to give us a little bit more warmth. We're gonna be using a little bit of heavy cream instead of just 100% whole milk. So yeah, it's a little more dense, but the flavor is gonna be all out. In addition to that, rather than dolloping it with butter and adding some maple syrup, we're gonna be adding mascarpone and fresh berries. We're gonna be making our own mascarpone whipped cream. We're also gonna be doing bananas foster French toast. You'll see what that entails. Warning, there's live fire. Remember to start off by cutting your own loaf of brioche into thick slices, about two centimeters thick to be exact. I'd recommend leaving them overnight to dry out, but if you're in a pinch, gently toast them in your oven at 95 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes and flipping halfway. While the bread is getting warm and toasty, we'll make the custard solution. You're gonna need eggs, ground cinnamon, freshly grated nutmeg, brown sugar, whole milk, heavy cream, and vanilla extract, and salt. Oh, and rum, and butter. Start by cracking two eggs into a medium-sized bowl. Separately crack the other two eggs and fish out the egg yolks with your hands. I'm sure there are more sanitary ways of doing this, but I guarantee my hands are clean, as should yours, and I've never broken an egg yolk this way. That's a win. Whisk all that together with our mini workhorse, the mini varilla, which means mini whisk in Spanish. As you whisk, stream in the milk, followed by the heavy cream. Make sure you keep whisking throughout since we want a homogenous solution. Now we add the aromatics and the other flavors, starting with one teaspoon of cinnamon, followed by two tablespoons of brown sugar so we can get those granules dissolved completely. Add half a teaspoon of salt to balance out the sweetness of the sugar, Freshly grate a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg for added warmth. Add in the all too familiar vanilla extract, one teaspoon to be exact, and finally mix in 25 milliliters or one ounce of dark rum of your choice. This will add sweetness and complexity to the French toast. Give it a little taste and make sure it's rum, and who cares if it's 10 o'clock in the morning, it's five o'clock somewhere. Add it in, and if you're making this for your guests, obviously you might wanna skip that part. After a final swirl, we're ready to dip and cook. Transfer the custard to a shallow bowl and by now the toast should be ready to go. And sure enough, the outside of the bread is lightly toasted. Add a small pat of butter to your pan, which is heating over medium low, medium heat. Soak the bread for 20 seconds, making sure that they are swimming in their sweetened milk bath. We want no dry spots. Gently place them in the heated butter and let sit until gently browned about one minute or so. We are Ryan and Alasne. If you like this recipe, make sure to subscribe. Oh, and like. I do recommend checking before flipping to make sure they're going to be picture perfect and even rotating to make sure they're evenly browned on each side. Flip and push around to make contact with the remaining butter and then remove when browned on both sides. Place on a cooling rack to keep the exterior as crispy as possible. Wash, rinse, repeat, or in this case, soak, fry, flip with the remaining bread. You see, making French toast shouldn't be that hard. Making good French toast isn't that much harder either. You just have to take a couple steps, pay attention to the details, add a little additional flavor at the base, and then you're gonna have flawless, perfect, sweet French toast. Now for the topping. I like whipped cream, but it doesn't hold so well on hot food, especially if I want to lounge and chat over brunch. I also don't have access to Cool Whip, so this recipe solves both of those problems. 
Mascarpone whipped cream is easy to make and you can also make this by hand, but I prefer to use the KitchenAid. Take your whisk and bowl out of the fridge where they've been chilling out or by adding the mascarpone cheese and sifting powdered sugar on top. You have to sift here or else you're gonna be left with dry pearls of powdered sugar. And although pearls sound nice, in this case, they're not. Once that's all done, beat until smooth. Quickly add the heavy whipping cream and vanilla to the bowl and mix on slow so you don't cream and splash all over the kitchen. Well, that sounded bad, but you know what I mean. Just be careful. Once the cream and cheese are starting to come together, turn the KitchenAid to high speed for about one minute. While that's coming together, add an additional 25 milliliters or one ounce of your dark rum. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. But after all, this is brunch and we do like to do things a little over the top. Keep an eye on it and make sure you do not make butter. It should hold its shape and have a medium peak when ready. See, and that's what you're looking for. It should just stand tall, it tastes great, almost too good, it's hard to stop eating. Bananas Foster is an ice cream dessert from New Orleans and I thought this would go great on some French toast. Start by making the glaze by adding one tablespoon of butter into a small pot. Make sure your heat is not too high like mine was. You don't want to burn it just yet. Add in one tablespoon of brown sugar and stir to melt and incorporate in the butter. Add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and give that a nice little turn. It should thicken pretty quickly at which point you add the bananas which have been quartered. Immediately move and flip the bananas to make sure they start getting coated in the caramel sauce. And here comes the dangerous part. Add another 25 milliliters or one ounce of dark rum to the pot because we're going to flambe these bananas. I'd recommend a nice flavorful rum since it's in every level of this recipe. Now I said use 25 milliliters of rum, but here I'm pouring 75 milliliters, which is way too much. Luckily for us, we had plenty of space, but pay attention to how much space you have above the pot. I don't want you burning down your kitchen. Pour and light immediately since it's going to take some time to cook off the alcohol. And of course, we pulled out our fire extinguisher just in case. Once the flames have died out, pour everything out and we're ready to top the French toast. Now you could just dollop whipped cream on top, and I'm sure most of you will, or you could create some whipped cream canals. For this, you're gonna heat up two spoons in some warm water, and then you're just gonna lightly scrape over the top, allowing the mascarpone whipped cream to sort of fold over itself. Once it's at the edge, you use the other spoon to gently lift it up and lay it down on its bed of French toast. Again, extra over the top. Top with some fresh berries, and that's as simple as Rich can get. For the Bananas Foster French Toast, add the whipped cream and top with your rum caramelized banana. Sprinkle with some powdered sugar for social media, and we're ready to eat. The bread holds its shape, it's so flavorful and fluffy, buttery and sweet. The mascarpone is just sweet enough to complement the tart berries and warm flavor notes in the French toast. The caramelized bananas and rum stand out in the Bananas Foster, but the mascarpone again brings it all together. This is rich, fun and simple brunch plate. It gets thumbs up and happy bellies. Make these and let us know what you think. See you next weekend and if you liked the video or learned something, like and subscribe.